take you uh, right ba back down to basics, okay, to the techie stuff, uh, because uh, we've made some changes to Power Language Schools, to the website, and to some of the resources. So I, first I'm going to need a bit of feedback from you, and then I'm going to show you some of the new things that we've added to um, to the website. So hopefully that will be useful to you, but um, especially to cascade it down to your teachers and in your local authorities uh, when you're when you're training when you're talking about the uh, the power language schools. So first we are something that's not changed yet, but we are going to change, and I need your feedback on this. So when you click on planners, this is what it looks like at the moment, and you have to go over the language um, of your choice, yeah? And it reveals your options for each language, yeah? And then you have to go across, and so sometimes what happens when you go across to teachers, we've had feedback that sometimes it changes the language that you're actually trying to select if, you don't, if you're not careful to actually move across uh, so we are suggesting to do something like that. So that's just in development at the moment. So uh, you would click, still click on planners, and then you would have to click on French to reveal the next uh, menu. Okay. Then you would still have the option to search the whole of French for resources, and then you need to click on your choice of year to reveal the next menu, which would be the usual uh, uh, stages and blocks, okay, with an option at the top to search the whole of PLS1. Would that be helpful? Yeah. Can we go ahead <laughs> with making these changes? So that's, um, that's a technical change, uh, but we think it's going to improve the navigation uh, on the website, and uh, we are going to go ahead in the next couple of weeks, so then we'll just send a tweet, I think, once it's done, so that people know it's done, and we'll have to uh, update our little um, presentation videos, which... So there's going to be a tweet, a blog, and in the newsletter as well? In the next newsletter, and just to remind you, we, we also have these little video in the help section, um, this video is of how the planner section work, how the resources section works. So these are, will be updated as well once we've changed the navigation. Okay, but I wanted to show you as well that we do have help uh, for teachers if they are stuck. Okay, they can watch the videos and they can access the frequently asked questions. Okay, on the website. New members of staff, for example, it's a good tutorial how to use the planners, how to use the mm -hmm. resources. Yeah. Uh, the resources section has changed already without your input. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, do you mind if I interject? Yes. If oh. you go back to the planners, mm -hmm. I know it's I know it's explained in the help section, I know it's explained in the videos and the FAQs, but I still get loads of emails from staff who say I go in here, mm -hmm. where do I find the overviews for language? Okay, and I know you have to, I know that you have to double click PL School yep. 1, 2, 3, mm -hmm. but it's not obvious, and so many teachers do not so go into the health. I think my plan is to uh, call this uh, something like overviews or special features. Because this is where you will you right. find the passports and the overviews. And, exactly. Because um, people want the passports, but they don't know where to go. So if that was across the top so there... So the problem with this is on menus, uh, you have to keep your titles short. <laughs> so that's the next, the next little thing we need to discuss is how um, do we make it obvious that's where... Um, so maybe special features? We can maybe discuss. Uh, but yeah... Yeah. And then the other thing in the, the nursery, I, I, remind, I might be wrong, but you only see the nursery if you click on PL School 1 currently, yeah. is that correct? Yes. So could there be nursery on its own? You see where you've got uh, PL School 1, 2, 3? So have, the, have it in this menu? It? I don't think so from a technical point of view, but if somebody could make a note of asking oh. the, <laughs> the specialist, but I don't think so from how the, the website is organised yeah. and how the resources are organised. Okay. 
And so... Yeah, at the moment, so you click on fetch and you'll get to the commercialities there uh, as well. Right? Yeah, yeah. It but that's, always that's, be there. that's the always new Always appear. Yeah, but that's the yeah, new I version. That's the new version. Only on copy of school, school, school one. one. No, yeah. I know at the moment, yeah. yes, but with the new features, it will always appear on the right hand side. Anyway, yeah, but only, only on PS4 on that one. So that's one that's the current so website, yeah, yeah, and and yes, for those who don't know, but I will I will come back to it. If you click on each uh, year, so PS1, PS2, that's where you will get what we call the special features, which we're going to discuss later: the E's and O's, overviews, passports, etc. Okay. Well, I'll come back to that, and then all we've already updated the resources tab okay so it looks a bit different it used to be across um, horizontally so it's now down and um, and you would click on your ch your choice of, res of resource to reveal a language that's available okay the reason being that we've introduced new resources which you'll find out uh, about today which are the secondary schools and um, the resources for secondary schools here Okay, so that's the new layout for the resources tab. You need to click uh, on your choice of resource to reveal the, the next menu. Okay, so that's been changed already, and we're going to do something similar for the planners. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so, <coughs> as I said, I was told to remind people that if you click on one of the languages and then on one of the PL schools, then you get your overviews, passports, and language recap for each. Oh, I can do this uh, for each year. Okay. So currently, I've been uh, I've been busy working on PLS five and PLS six. And so this is in development, PLS5 is in, th in three languages, so there's a lot of, uh, of content. And uh, so PLS5 is almost finished. It's finished in French and almost finished in Spanish and German. And then PLS6 is uh, currently being developed. Okay? So not all the special features are there. We're still working on the PLS5 uh, passports and overviews and language recap. So that will keep being added as and when they are ready. And as always, please tell your teachers to always uh, use material from the website, not something that they downloaded a year ago or two years ago, okay? Because we refresh our resources and, and things when we see somebody tells us, oh, there's a sound file that doesn't work, we change it, we put it back. We can't tell the whole world, <laughs> okay? Uh, but that's, that's the process. So we always say to teachers, use the resource on the day as they are on the on the website okay and so what I've also been very busy with is um, doing some updates some updates to uh, PLS1 okay and we've we've called them revamps uh, so my brief was to put some fresh um, formatting and illustrations look at look at these and change some of these uh, I also uh, we also wanted to add more animations to PLS one. There were uh, little animations, so we wanted to add more. And we also were wanted to add more sound files to PowerPoints. Okay. Uh, so, for instance, PowerPoints with colors. Teachers, when we started, were told you go to your key language document. That's where all your sound files are. And uh, that's your first port of call. But then as we went along, we realized that teachers needed more support on the PowerPoints themselves. So we're going back to PLS1 and we're in adding sound files to the PowerPoints. Okay, so that's one of the things I did over the, the last year. And then the last thing was again looking at the planners and the key language document and to see if there was anything that needed updated, refreshed, maybe it's a link that doesn't work or um, an activity that no, we, it's not so good so we'll just replace it. So I looked at the, at the planners again to try and refresh that um, in the process. Okay. And uh, just to show you for French, I'll give French as an example. 
um, if I if you go to primary one block one for instance uh, oh, the last thing I, I did as well is on the planners if you remember we mentioned some of those songs that are available on the power language CD-ROMs mm -hmm. which are downloadable from our website but sometimes teachers find it difficult to download so what I've tried to do is if, um, if a, a song is relevant to that block I have, we have extracted the song from the CD-ROM and included it here in the associated resources. Okay, so this one, for instance, Amstram Gram, the French counting rhyme, that wasn't on the planners, that was on the CD-ROM, now it's here for teachers to use. Uh, the same with this one, Bonjour la classe uh, song here, the video, and if the video, if the words are a bit difficult, we've added lyrics and translation as well for teachers. Okay. Uh, we have refreshed quite a lot of our videos. So, for instance, uh, this little one here, um, when we started developing uh, Power Language, we were using different programs that uh, have now evolved. Okay. And so, this one is a video which some of you will know very well. Okay. So, it's just ça va, ça va, ça va super bien. And it's just a different layout altogether from what it was before if some of you have used it. Um, um, I'll just show a few seconds of it. But Maybe quite loud, be careful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien, merci. So remember this is this is P1 block one so there we're going quite slowly, okay? But that's completely revamped from what it was before, if some of you are familiar with this resource. Because we didn't have the technology five years ago, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. We didn't have the emissions, we didn't yeah. have, you know... It's, it's so that's been revamped, <laughs> that little video. <laughs> this video as well has been revamped. And the Frère Jacques video, again, I looked at what's available online and I thought that's still, the, still quite good, so we've kept it as it is. Okay. Um, should I go on, or because you we've got plenty to to cover, so I don't know. Because I was going to show you everything that's been changed in block one, two, three, and four, but maybe not. In terms of the actual resources, no. no. So the, mm -hmm. the message. So is it's just to let. So have a look. Basically, more animations, sound files. Uh, so you'll see c the color flashcards now have sound files. The Kim game, Kim games now have sound files. Um, the number of uh, flashcards have sound files. So everywhere that was, where's they were, with where there was flashcards, there's not that sound file. And also animations. So for instance, uh, for the numbers, we've created a little number animation uh, to complement the PowerPoints because some teachers prefer the PowerPoints, some pe teachers prefer the animations. So there's a new animation for numbers. There's a new animation for colors. There's a new animation for the Christmas story. Um, so that's that sort of changes that, that we've made throughout uh, PIS1. Okay. So we're reacting to feedback, basically. That's you say navigation, the rollover thing, oh, it can be clumsy. Okay, it's going to be a click thing. Could we get new animations? Could we get sound files? So it has to be said that this is 10 months in Elise's life, by the way. Again, it's an easy one, uh, you know, 20 minute presentation, but it's 10 months in the making. It's three, four languages, it's huge. It's exciting. So that's across the three. So, well, thank you for thank that. You. And um, <laughs> do I show this as well or not? Or after or later? After, maybe. After. Okay. Um, I think that's fine. Uh, again, reacting to feedback and to go back to sustainability, we've that's one of our themes. Um, you know, how do we train people? Um, we've got online training, we've got all L3, we've got the online courses. We've also decided to work on a little series. It's been in the making, we've discussed this with Sylvia, Gwen is gone, a lot of people, Fia, uh, Fia has been very involved in, in today's, but a lot, we've discussed this over the years with a lot of people. How can we maybe support friendly teachers? Okay, some files for the language, but how do we support with the pedagogy? How do you introduce new vocab? How do you, uh, is interaction between the learners a good thing? How do you, how do we support our primary teachers who are not language? 
teacher specialists, as we know. So we started to create some little videos which Thea has been using as part of, of some online training that you're doing for Highland Council. I mean, Highland is big size of Belgium, bigger than Belgium even. Uh, so to support Thea and everybody in Scotland, this will go on the, the actual website. This will be available to, to the world, basically. These videos will be available to the world. We've called them at the moment how to, <coughs> how to teach um, the daily routine, how to introduce the daily routine, how to introduce pupil interaction. Which one should I show, Thea, of um, the two? The first one's shorter. So okay. <laughs> That's the first, which is the first one we, we yeah. did. Uh, so they're just simple. And particularly simple if you're a language teacher, but actually if you're a primary teacher and you, your job is not to teach language, well it is now, but you've not been trained, we're hoping these would be helpful. Three minutes long, it's going to be between three and five minutes each time. That's what they look like. How to daily routine. Routines are well embedded in our schools. They're an important component of learning and teaching and play a big part in assuring the health and well-being of our learners. As part of our planners, we have identified some activities which we think could be done in the target language. We also provide the relevant vocabulary to accompany these activities to support teachers. For example, some of the routines done in English could be transferred to the language you teach. Greetings and taking the register at the start of the day could help you to normalize the use of language in your class. Doing the emotional check that teachers would do as part of health and well-being could be another. The sentences used in the target language can be kept simple. For example, in French, teachers could use the sound files provided in the planners and create a little routine along the lines of Bonjour tout le monde, je fais l'appel. Répondez présent ou présente. Ça va? Tu es fatigué? As learners become more confident and have more language, the day and the weather can also be presented in the target language using flashcards provided. Building on this, the teacher can also ask the pupils for lunch choices, with the main menu choices and or the color of the meal choice in the target language. Teachers can expand and count the number of boys and girls for different food choices and do some mental maths. Classroom language and instructions for games are also part of the daily routine. We have adapted call and response phrases that teachers use in English, such as one, two, three, look at me, one, two, we look at you, which in French can be un, deux, trois, regardez-moi with the learners replying un, deux, avec les yeux. And so on. You get, you get the idea uh, of this. J'aime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really to, I mean, this is video number one. So we're back to basics using the daily routine things you probably do, but maybe new teachers might not you know, do that yet. Um, so three minute videos, we're hoping to have a full series, how to daily routine, how to pupil interaction, uh, and we have more. So Thea has been heavily involved into this because you really needed, you did, a, yeah, we, you really needed that quickly for your, um, yeah. <laughs> for your training. Uh, so we've developed those uh, in record time, really. <laughs> Do you want me just to say a bit about yes. it? So using it in context. Yeah. So in Highland, we just found that a lot of people aren't attending training. Obviously, it's physically it's impossible for people to get anywhere. So I'm doing online training using Google Meets with people. So I just wanted to experiment with different ways of doing the training because just having me talk at them for an hour, you know, at the end of the school day is quite full on. Just preparing a PowerPoint isn't very interesting, you know. And so I, I experimented with different ideas. Um, so the last one I did, we just watched the video and I just paused it at different points and used it to discuss with them, you know, what are you doing in your class? Could this be done? How else could we do it? What would be the progression? How would we do it with a composite class? You know, what language do you need that you don't have? Where do you find the resources? So we spent like an hour and a half just with one video. 
um, and it just forms the discussion really. Um, and then another time, people watch the video, they watch this one for instance, before we had our session, so that then they came to the session with questions, with ideas, um, and then they could really use me as a facilitator yeah. to facilitate their learning. So uh, I'm doing a, a session a week, so we've got eight sessions, so the next couple are introducing, using songs, using games, um, how we introduce, vocab. introducing vocabulary, how we do that, um, then we've got one on using stories and poems. So sort of linking in with the you know, expected outcomes from one plus two and taking a pedagogical approach um, and using you know, language that's appropriate and linking it to power language. And in video number two, in fact, we've really, well, from the start, in fact, but pointing out this is where you'll find it if you need it on the device. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but even if you don't have access to PLS, I think just the language idea is yeah. that's why it's available to everybody because hopefully there's something in there for everybody. It's content or UK, in fact.